Could we have roll call, please? Iverson? Yes. Schatzinger? Here. Reamer? Here. Gallops? Here. Benkert? Present. Kraske? Here. Sorensen? Here. Split? Here. We have a quorum. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, my name is Becky Fine from Prairie Lakes UU Fellowship. This evening I'm gonna share a prayer by Reverend Naomi King. Light of guidance, remind us in this and every day that we are each other's keepers, the ones appointed to care for and look after one another, to make way and to make welcome. There is one humanity with splendid diversity of being. Another reason for singing Alleluia. Light of guidance, Remind us in this day and every day that we belong to one another. Whatever our family or lack of one, whatever our nationality or lack of one, whatever our ethnicity or so-called race, whatever our language or our abilities, whatever and wherever we are, there is one humanity with splendid diversity of being. Another reason for singing Alleluia. Light of guidance, recall us back to our best and better selves the ones that create compassion where it is needed and find commonality where only dangerous difference existed moments before. Recall us back to our best and better selves, the ones that know how to laugh generously and create together goodness, freedom, fairness, and dignity. There is one humanity with splendid diversity of being, another reason for singing Alleluia. Light of guidance, we call us to our best and better selves. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Is there a motion to approve tonight's agenda? I'll, I'll make, make a motion approve. to approve tonight's agenda. <laughs> I'll second. I have a motion by Doug, second by Jonathan. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the, the agenda, say aye. 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 Opposed? That is approved. Now come to public communications and comment. Uh, this is the opportunity for citizens to come before the council with comments and concerns on any current city issue, knowing no action may be taken tonight. I ask that you keep it civil and respectful and within five minutes. However, discussion of personnel or individual members of the Common Council shall not be permitted. I expect you to be respectful, and in return, I expect the Council to treat the citizens with the same respect. Before you begin, please state your name and address for the record. First, we have uh, Preston Benton. Good evening, members of the Ripon Common Council. My name is Preston Benton, and I reside at 218 Scott Street. I'm here today to urge you to support the proclamation designating June as Pride Month in the city of Ripon. As a student leader of social justice issues at Ripon High School, I have had the privilege of working closely with many of my peers, many of whom identify as members of the LGBTQ community. I have witnessed firsthand the struggles and challenges that many of these students face on a day-to-day -ba -day basis. While our school has made great strides in creating a safe and inclusive environment for all students, there is still much work to be done in our broader community. Designating June as Pride Month in Ripon is not just about labeling a month or signing a piece of paper, but sending a powerful message of support to the LGBTQ students and residents in Ripon. It shows them that they are seen, they are valued, and they are respected members of our community. This proclamation perfectly conveys this message as it quotes. Whereas all are welcome in the city of Ripon to live, work, and play, and where every family in any shape deserves a place to call home, where they are safe, happy, and supported by friends and neighbors. And this proclamation later states, whereas this Pride Month, we reaffirm our commitment to standing in solidarity with LGBTQ plus Americans in their ongoing struggle against discrimination and injustice. And whereas it is imperative that young people in our community, regardless of sexual orientation, gender identity, and gender expression, feel valued, safe, empowered, and supported by their peers and community leaders. 
For many, LGBTQ plus students, being seen, supported, and represented in their community can make all the difference. It can provide them with a sense of belonging and acceptance that is so often lacking in their lives. By recognizing Pride Month, we can help create a more inclusive and welcoming community for all. I urge you to support this proclamation and join us in celebrating Pride Month in Ripon. Together, we can send a powerful message of acceptance, love, and support to all members of our community. Thank you for your time and consideration. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next is Charlie Mashik. Um, hello, my name is Charlie Mashok. I reside at um, W12452 Olden Road here in Ripon. Um, and I'm here today as a student leader at the Ripon High School. I'm here to speak to you from per personal experience as someone who has faced homophobia discrimination from my peers at school. I am here to urge you to support the proclamation, proclamation designating June as Pride Month in Ripon. Growing up as a gay student in Ripon hasn't been easy. I faced discrimination, bullying, harassment, simply because of who I am. There were times when I felt isolated and alone, like I didn't belong in my own community. But despite the challenges I faced, I've also experienced incredible support from my friends, families, and teachers. Designating June as Pride Month in Ripon would send a powerful message and support to LGBTQ students like me. It would show us that we are seen, valued, respected members of our community. It would send a message to our LGBTQ youth that they are not alone and that they would have a community and the support that they need to be accepted for who they are. For me, Pride Month is about more than just celebration. It is visibility, acceptance, and love. It's about creating a community where everyone feels safe, supported, represented. By recognizing Pride Month, we can help to create a more inclusive and welcome community for all. I urge you to support the proclamation to stand with LGBTQ students like me. Together, we can send a powerful message of acceptance, love, and support to all members of our community. Thank you for your time and consideration. Thank you. Thank you. Next is Shane Dalton. Hello, I'm Shane Dalton. I reside at 1115 Newberry Street. Today I'm here on behalf of the Night Steel Workers Local 1327. We work with Alliance Laundry Systems. Um, the address for them is 443 Scott Street. Um, the reason I'm here is um, we were hoping, and I, was, I spoke with someone on council last year, uh, about February of 2023, about purchasing 433. I believe it was the site of the old pickle factory. Um, the purpose for us wanting to um, is we simply are outgrowing our facility. As you know, we've Alliance has grown a lot in the 19 years I've been there. It's doubled. We had 700 employees when I started now, including Manitowoc, which is also part of our local. We have close to 1,500. Um, our hall supports about 300 people. Um, and also the fact that we rent out our hall to many people, um, we, we just don't have the room. Part of the room in the hall, we just have no storage area in there. So we're hoping to add on to the hall or build a separate storage building. If we do that in our current area, we would take up parking, which we don't have enough of now, and we would have nowhere to go with extra parking at that point. So even if we couldn't purchase the whole lot at 433, we would hope, I drew that white line down the map there, we would hope to at least get that. Um, that more so for safety, because the driveway, which is also a public access point to the mill pond, um, is a one way, like a one lane, you can't see around the Union Hall coming in, so it's kind of a pinch point, a safety hazard. Um, we have a lot of close calls all the time. We see a lot of close calls. Um, so I guess, yeah, that's really all I have for my time. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next is Nicole Gallica. Galicia. Galicia. Galicia, sorry. My name is
name is Nicole Galicia. I reside at 225 Henny Street, and I'm here today to um, request uh, an amendment to the beehive code of the city of Ripon. Uh, currently the code limits beehives only to the Langstroth hive and I'm asking that the city council consider allowing also a Layens uh, horizontal type hive. Um, they're better for our area. They are capable of being insulated which is really good for our cold winters. Um, they're better for beekeepers because it's less stress on the body. It also opens up beekeeping to those with disabilities and it allows beekeepers to continue beekeeping into old age because there's no lifting of boxes. You just have a lid type system for the beehive. Um, it incorporates a lot of uh, natural and sustainable beekeeping practices. Um, so it's very good for keeping the pollinators healthy without a whole lot of interventions. And uh, especially with some of the issues our nation has been having with pollinators, I feel like the more options we have, the better. Um, sorry, one moment, please. Um, and I, I believe that's all I have for today then. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And finally, Reverend Jeffrey Dotson. Good evening, Council. I am Reverend Jeffrey Dodson, and I reside at 327 West Thorn Street. And um, briefly, I just wanted to offer my thanks and gratitude for the leadership of the City Council and Mayor for this uh, important and meaningful proclamation uh, for uh, designating June as Pride Month in Ripon. Um, thank you to the community who has helped make this happen as well. Uh, this matters deeply to a lot of our families and our community, and I'm so grateful to see it here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. All right, that's all I have for public comment. Um, next, we move to accepting informal reports from standing committees and staff. Is there a motion to approve as published? I'll make a motion to approve as published. A second. Moved by Dave, seconded by Ellen. Any discussion? I have a couple questions on the financial report, number 11. Um, can you tell me what the, on the first page, what the TRC lockbox is, Adam? TRC lockbox is the bill for the Superfund site. Okay. Um, and I did see the cost of K-9 um, at UW, Wisconsin, must be the best school. Yes. Yeah. It's, I think there are several other ones in there, too, some significant medical problems. Mm -hmm. I hope, he, I hope um, Ronnie is getting what he needs. Um, on page three-ish, SEH uh, for $35,009.17, uh, which project is that for? I believe that is for the um, DPW building. Okay, thank you. Uh, USA Blue Book, I think that was water or wastewater? Yep. Okay. Uh, can you tell us what we get for Wisconsin EMS Association? Wisconsin EMS Association is the annual membership to the Wisconsin EMS Association. Right. What? What do they do? What do they provide us? It's, it's the training and the support for lobbying, all of that stuff. Okay. Kind of like the League of Wisconsin Municipalities for EMS. Okay, and that would be similar to the Wisconsin Rural Water Association too? Correct. Okay, and last page, um, Burbercher? Beerbicker is the, um, that's going to be the housing study. That's what I thought. Okay, thank you, that's it. <clears throat> Any further questions or comments? Hearing none, all those in favor of accepting informal reports from standing committee and staff as published, say aye. 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 Opposed? Those are approved. Next is the consent calendar. Is there a motion to approve the consent calendar as published? Motion to approve. All second. second. And motion by John, second by Steve. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the consent calendar, say aye. 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 Opposed? That is approved. All right. So 
Uh, next up is a mayoral proclamation recognizing June as LGBTQ plus Pride Month in the city of Ripon. Whereas the city of, of Ripon cherishes the value and dignity of each person and appreciates the importance of diversity, equity, and inclusion, and whereas all are welcome in the city of Ripon to live, work, and play, and where every family in any shape deserves a place to call home where they are safe, happy, and supported by friends and neighbors, and whereas the city denounces prejudice and unfair discrimination based on age, gender, or gender identity, gender expression, race, color, religion, marital status, national origin, sexual orientation, or physical attributes as an affront to our fundamental principles, and whereas Pride Month was first celebrated in June 1970, on the one year anniversary of the June 1969 Stonewall Uprising in New York City, where after LGBTQ plus and allied friends rose up and fought against the constant police harassment and discriminatory laws that have been since declared unconstitutional. And whereas the city appreciates the cultural, civic, and economic contributions of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer LG, LGBTQ plus community, and whereas the Pride Month, we reaffirm our commitment to standing in solidarity with LGBTQ plus Americans in their ongoing struggle against discrimination and injustice, and whereas it is imperative that young people in our community, regardless of sexual orientation, gender identity, gender expression feel valued, safe, empowered, and supported by their peers and community leaders. And whereas despite being marginalized, LGBTQ plus people continue to celebrate authenticity, acceptance, and love. Now, therefore, I, Theodore Grant, mayor of the city of Ripon, <coughs> excuse me, proclaim the month of June 2024 as LG BTQ plus Pride Month in the city of Ripon and urge residents to recognize the valuable contributions made by members of the LGBTQ plus community and to actively promote a welcoming and inclusive community where all people can feel their full authentic selves. I move that we accept the mayoral proclamation recognizing June as LGBTQ plus Pride Month in the city of Ripon. A second. Been moved by Ellen, seconded by Jonathan. Any discussion? Jonathan? I just wanted to say thanks everybody for attending. Um, fantastic speeches and I think it's a really important vote and uh, proclamation to help a group of people feel seen in the city. Jolene? I want to exactly echo what my colleague Jonathan just said and uh, I admire uh, the young people that came up here to speak, and in fact, for that second to last whereas, where it says an imperative that young people in our community, uh, regardless of sexual orientation, gender identity, and gender expression, feel valued, safe, empowered, and supported by their peers and community leaders, I would add that it's imperative that all people in our community, no matter their age, young, old, feel the same way, and I feel grateful that this is coming before our council. Any other questions or comments? None. All those in favor of approving the mayoral proclamation on LGBTQ plus Pride Month, say aye. 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 Opposed? That is approved. Thank you. And thank you to everyone who spoke this evening. Or just came to attend. Don't people take pictures with you when there's a proclamation? <laughs> I don't have any fancy papers. We can do something in June. <laughs> and I will like to mention at this point that they are having an event June 29th. Is it first? 21st. first. No, no, the first. The first. Yes. June 1st. Um, <laughs> Mayor? So June 1st. Um, they have invited the League of Women Voters to be there to register voters. So we will be there uh, with bells on to help you register to vote. So thank you. Thank you. 
And just a note to Mr. Clerk, we may need to notice that as I have a feeling more than three of us will be attending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good idea. Good feeling for that too. Yeah. All right. Again, thank you very much. Um, moving on to another mayoral proclamation. This one is honoring Esther. Sorry, Aikman. Aiken, sorry, Aiken. Aiken. Want to make sure I'm pronouncing everyone's names right. Uh, so honoring Esther Aiken for over two decades of service as a crossing guard in the city of Ripon. Whereas Esther Aiken has dedicated 21 years of service to the city of Ripon as a crossing guard, a role in which she has exemplified dedication, reliability, and vid vigilance, ensuring the safety of our children in all weather conditions, be it driving rain, biting cold, daunting snowstorms, or under cheerful sun. And whereas Esther has been an instrumental, instrumental in safety, guiding thousands of children across the streets of Ripon, ensuring they traveled to and from school safely every day, thereby playing a crucial role in the daily life and routine of our community's youth and whereas she has represented the epitome of community service and responsibility, demonstrating the utmost care and attention in her duties, thereby embodying the very spirit of civic duty and the protection of our most precious assets, our children. And whereas stationed faithfully at her post in the Matoman Street School Zone, Esther has become a beloved and familiar presence to generations of Ripon's families earning the respect and admiration of not only those she directed safe, directly safeguarded, but also their relatives and the broader community. And whereas, as Esther retires from her post, it is with deep gratitude and the warmest wishes that the city of Ripon recognizes her profound contributions and unwavering commitment to the safety and well-being of our children. Now, therefore, I, Theodore Grant, Mayor of the City of Ripon, do hereby pr proclaim immense appreciation and thanks to Esther Aiken for her 21 years of outstanding service and declare that the date of her retirement, 14th of May, 2024, as Esther Aiken Day in the City of Ripon, where we celebrate her dedication, honor her legacy, and wish her happiness and fulfillment in all her future endeavors. In witness whereof I here or have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the city of Ripon to be affixed this 14th of May 2024. Could I have a motion to approve this proclamation? I'll make a motion to approve this proclamation. I'll second that motion. Moved by Doug, seconded by Mark. Any discussion? Just say I actually didn't know that um, Esther was retiring and I'm obviously old enough that I actually have never crossed the street, but it's going to be weird is because we've driven past her for like 15 years. And I think our son waves every single day. So it's going to be really weird. Not, not seeing her. Doug. I, I too but wondered about this and I didn't catch the Matoma. And then I went down Matoma and I saw that lady wasn't there. There was somebody else there now. And then it dawned on me who she was. <laughs> So I don't know how many times over the years I have to pass down Matoman to go to Ripon High or the middle school or whatever, and she was already always there waving and doing her quality job that she did. So I want to thank her. Obviously, very nice, kind words on your proclamation. We certainly appreciate that from all of us at the police department. We certainly honor Esther and all of her commitment towards our children and getting them safely to and from school for the past 21 years. Thank you very much. Okay. You want to say anything? Is that I'm sorry I got to retire. <laughs> I'm going to miss all my wonderful kids. You know, the people that wave to me all the time, 
And I like to give them a big smile, make them happy, because otherwise you see they're grumpy. <laughs> this way I give them a smile, then they got to smile back. <laughs> otherwise, I'm going to miss everybody here, the officers, everybody, and my two best friends right here. <laughs> they are so special to me. They like my family. I thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. We'll just wait for the vote here. And oh, okay. So. <laughs> Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the mayoral proclamation declaring May 14th as Esther Aiken Day. Say aye. 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 Opposed? No. Congratulations. <laughs> Today is... Thank you. We'll get you a <laughs> At this time, I will be seeking a motion to convene into closed session pursuant to Wisconsin Statute 19.851E, deliberating or negotiating the purchase of public properties, investing of public funds, or conducting other specified public business whenever competitive or bargaining reasons require closed session, and 19.851A, deliberate, deliberating concerning a case which was the subject of any judicial or quasi-judicial trial or hearing before that governmental body. Uh, on the agenda for the closed session will be development agreement for Parkside Street Utility Extension and Housing Development and a Child Sex Offender Child Safety Zone Ordinance Exemption Request, as well as the Common Council will review the minutes from the closed session on April 9th, 2024. Could I get such a motion? I'll make a motion to accept um, um, the convening closed session pursuant to Wisconsin statutes 19.85, subsection E1, subsection um, E. The motion by Doug, second by Ellen. All those in favor of adjourning to close. Is there a discussion? No. no. I'm going, uh, we're going into closed session. But my question would be why is it, isn't this typically at the end, closed session? Why is it moved up? for scheduling reasons. And for the record, the council intends to reconvene in approximately half an hour, which would put reconvening into closed session about eight o'clock. Do we need a, a um, <laughs> roll call vote to go into closed session? Sure, because then you can put yourself on the record. Adam? Iverson? Yes. Schatzinger? Yes. Reamer? Yes. Gallup? Yes. Denker? Yes. Gatsky? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> what? Yes. Motion carries. So we will adjourn to closed session and anticipate coming back into open session at about 8 o'clock.